everyone, Daryl and Corey here, SEMA 2018. Corey's gonna tell you about the JCR Golden Bandit. I am? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> how about how about I'll tell them about like the all the sweet drivetrain stuff and okay. axles and you can talk about the JCR parts. Okay, we can, can you, do that. Can you do that? I can do that. Alright, go ahead. Alright guys. So first of all we're gonna start off with the fender flares. Got it. Daryl, you may not know this, but these are about to come out on the market right now. Oh. I don't think you would know that yet, but if you look at this, it's very similar to our JK ones, but a lot cooler. And I'm going to tell you why. Let me tell you why real quick. So this bracket right here, and if you could pan in, just Daryl, get. Oh yeah. Me, if you can get just right up, actually. Oh, from behind. Little, okay. Yeah, yeah. If you can get up in here. Yeah. Can yep. You see that? I see it. Can you see that right there? Yeah, I see it. So that's for the daytime running lights. Okay. Which, I don't know why everyone's having an issue with that thing, but. It's pretty easy for us to figure that out. So, um, you mean uh, having lights at all? Yeah. I mean, if you look at it, look how clean that is. It's clean. So, onto the front bumper, which everyone knows and loves. It's our Crusader. What? Get out of my face. Get back up a little. Get, get. I'm trying to get the good audio. Okay. Can I be right in your face? Here. Okay. So, <laughs> this right here is our Crusader front bumper. That was that was that was gonna blow it out. Oh. Why don't you just take the phone? Okay. And you can just walk and talk. Okay. Yeah, I'll be over here. Whenever you're ready, I'll just be over here, and then we'll, I'll talk about the rest of it. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So this is our Crusader for... Oh, I'm going to back up. This is our Crusader Midwith, which we make one for the JK as well, and is super, super awesome. Uh, we powder-coated it black with a little bit of uh, sparkle, if you could. You see that flake in there? You probably can't, but either way. Uh, super, super clean. Um, more fenders. These are our Crusader Rock Sliders. Uh, with the rock lights built in. We actually had Pete spring it. Did an awesome job on the uh, on the bed liner up top here. And then if you can see it, which I know you can't because of the lighting, but there's an awesome gold, gold flake in there, which hit it in the right light and it looks amazing. Um, our new jail half doors. So clean. We've had a lot of people that love these half doors, and you can't even tell that they're not factory, which, man, whoo! Let me just show that again. Okay, on to the back bumper. So this is our Crusader rear bumper. And we kind of, we designed it so it would work with the, uh, the backup sensors, and. Revert. So this right here is uh, is a cover plug in case you guys uh, have the backup sensors, which a lot of people do on these new JLs. Um, this one did not, but oh. hey Joe, what's up, Daryl? You got it all there? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take this. Can I have it? Um, actually, I'll, I'll film here. No, I'll, I'll take this. You want to take that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. I... Hey, guys. It was great talking with you. Hey, thanks, Corey. <laughs> thanks, Corey. <laughs> all right, so Corey showed you all the JCR parts. Now, I'm going to show you just the... Re oh, here comes Corey. Actually, actually, I didn't... Hold on. Come okay, I'm coming with you. I'm coming with you. I didn't show him the inner fenders. Oh, okay. I completely skipped over that. Yeah, inner fenders. So... You know what Falcon shocks are, Daryl? Yeah, yeah, I think so. so that those things? I think. What does this thing? What does this part do? What does this red part do? This part right here. That? Yeah, yeah. Um, it actually it turns the heat on in the Jeep when oh. you turn it. Oh, okay, cool. So don't touch that. I won't. Um, so these are the Falcon specific enters. Got it. Okay, so Terraflex Falcon shocks have this reservoir built in right here. Uh huh. Nobody else makes it. Nobody else makes a shock with a reservoir. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody makes these inner fenders, Terry. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. okay, got it. So we make some that work specifically for that because everybody runs Falcon shocks. Everyone. Everybody. Oh, it's crazy. Literally everybody. That's crazy. Now follow me. Oh, okay, I got. It. We made them for the back too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, you can see you. You can see you. You can see you in that gloss black powder coat. Who do you think powder coated such a gorgeous? Gloss black. I thought this was paint. It's powder? Yeah, it's powder coat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's powder Who would have powder coated that? Actually, I was telling him about the slider so it has a gold flake in it and you can't see it because of the lighting. Yeah, I know. So I screwed up. These uh, these actually work with the Falcon shocks too. They do? Yeah. And I'll tell you why. 
because it's not even close. Because so. <laughs> they mount in the factory location. Yes. Yep, and, uh, and if you can see, these inner fenders actually cover the entire wheel well. Oh, man. So super clean. It cleans up. All you TJ guys, remember the uh, the EVAP canister that was back here? Well, guess what? What's a TJ? On a, okay. On the JLs, <laughs> it's back. So you got to cover that up or else it looks kind of... I don't know. You, I don't know. You did good. Thanks. Is so. that it? You got anything else you're forgetting? Um, oh, there is. Okay. Check this out. Follow well, me, Daryl. <laughs> okay. Follow me, Daryl. I'm, I'm following you. Oh, I'm following you. I'm a cartridge. I'm following you. We have a is this an electric? This is a hybrid? No, this is an ender block heater. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. You cold. need that in Vegas. It gets cold in Vegas. Okay, cool. I found out we have a transfer case kit. Oh, look at that. I didn't know that until two days we ago. We have an engine's kit too, technically. Uh, it doesn't work with 60s? Yeah, it doesn't work with 60s yet. No. Not yet, but it will. I think. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. So, uh, this was fun. Well, cool. Well, while we're down, <laughs> while we're down here, I mean, I, I'm good if you want to leave. Can I stay? Yeah, you can stay. Okay, so while we're down here, we're going to talk about the drivetrain of this Jeep, and we're going to start at the front there with that Terraflex 60, full float Dana 60, JL specific brackets, and, you know, gold, of course. That's a really awesome, big, beefy unit right there. Ha <laughs> ha, beefy unit. Anyways, got their brakes, their outers, full float Dana 60, 488 gears, ARB locker, and then look at that gorgeous drive shaft from our friends at Adams Drive Shafts. The best drive shafts. Don't even look anywhere else, just buy Adams. Got the long travel splines they've been using for a while now. We have these in all of our JKs, and they're moving those over to the JL2, which is really, really great. 1350 on both ends and then in the back here flipping over we have another Terraflex high pinion 60 JL specific brackets full float 48 gears air locker and another gorgeous drive shaft from Adams drive shaft we have the AFE rock crawler exhaust tucked up in there check that out high and tight AFE crawler exhaust, man, that thing sounds amazing. I was super impressed with how well that it sounds. You know, sometimes exhaust can be a little loud, a little droney. Man, that exhaust on this 3.6 sounds great. And then on the rock crawler option or the high tuck option, they have bolt on tips like this one, this black powder coated one. But all you got to do is remove that clamp and you have, if you can look up in there, just a standard pie cut exhaust that's high clearance so you don't have to worry about it on the rock. So, there's that Terraflex axle and their Falcon shocks that Corey talked about earlier. Wheels and tires, we are running uh, Method Con 6s on this Jeep with Falcon Wild Peak MTs and these are the 38 13 5, 17 Wild Peak MT. Ultra rare, kind of hard to get. And then a high lift jack with the black and the gold. High lift jack extreme I think they call this guy. We love High Left, love their products. And then of course, this is the Burt Reynolds Tribute built with just a little bit of Golden Eagle mixed in. So the Golden Bandit. Then we have the mix of the Golden Eagle and the Firebird logo there in the tail lights and also on the hood. Corey talked to you about all the sweet JCR off-road stuff on here. We can talk about seat covers from our friends at Bartac. Look at them. The black and the camel, I think this color is. It's like their tan color, I think. I might be wrong on that, so if I'm wrong, let me know. But this is like their lighter, lighter tan color. The camel might be like their a little darker tan color. I don't know. And then grab handles from Bartek as well. Awesome products, and they have like a little bag here for your grab handle. Awesome stuff. Coming around the front here to lighting, let's talk about lighting. Uh, the uh, DRLs and the turn signals, those are ours on our fenders. These headlights from our friends at HID Projectors, and they custom etched our golden bandit logo in there. So cool. And these things have a ton of functions. What you see around here is an angel eye, there's a devil eye, there's a halo. So the halo, uh, let me turn this these on for you here. All right, so the halo is white as a running light or a DRL. And then when you turn your blinkers on, that halo is gonna go ahead and turn uh, amber or orange or whatever color you wanna call it uh, for signaling. So that's really neat. Gorgeous headlights, HID projectors. You can wear these things any way you want, just the way we chose to run them there. 
On the front bumper, we're running a set of Baja Designs LP9 Sport. Fantastic lights. Forget about light bars. These things are bright enough for anything. Totally overbuilt, awesome strong brackets. Great lights, check them out. And then in the bumper, we are running Baja Design Squadron Sports. These are their driving pattern. It's like a driving combo pattern in the amber lens. We have a Warren Xeon 8S here. Love our friends at Warren. And then we're running Master Pulse uh, Superline XD synthetic line on this. We really like this stuff because it's pre-stretched and then it has an abrasion guard on it. So you, can, you have to worry a little bit less about that line getting abraded and it just spools so nice on the winch drum right there. And they have their little thimble guard here. And what happens is you just pull this thimble right through the guard and you can connect your D-ring to that. Speaking of D-rings, Warren Epic Shackles, amazing product, great D-ring. Check those guys out. So that is it for right here. We masked off this sport grill and we painted it to match the theme, the Golden Bandit theme. And if you look on our website, this is actually the dumb shirt of the month. So you can get your, old, your own Golden Bandit shirt, make Firebird people angry, make Golden Eagle people angry. It's perfect. Pop this hood here real fast. All right, under the hood, mostly stock, 3.6 liter, but we have the AFE Momentum GT intake. This thing sounds great. It's matched perfectly with their exhaust. I love this intake, check it out for sure. And then for accessory control, we have the trigger from Advanced Accessory Concepts. So this thing is pretty awesome because it is wireless. So the, here is the control box here, and you can run it off these switches here, like if you have a mounted in a trailer, in your truck bed or whatever, you can run it from there if you like. So that's that right there, but if you look inside here, you see their switch panel right here is magnetic. Yes, so it has batteries or you can wire it to get power from its cradle but this is a totally wireless switch accessory system so you can put this in your back pocket when you jump out of the vehicle you can use it to run your lights your ditch lights or whatever around camp really really awesome and then it just pops back up in there and it works with your vehicle illumination if you wire it in that way which is really awesome all right let's walk around here full fold axles from Terraflex with those big beefy lockouts. If you ever took apart a Terraflex lockout or Dana 60s, they are awesome. You do not have to worry about, about breaking those at all. So the thing about JLs is they're so new to the market uh, that people don't have like full product uh, catalogs for them or you know every product that you might need. So we have some other products from our friends on this as well. So this is a Terraflex suspension. This is gonna be their three inch, I believe. And then it's just so new to the market that we're using some parts from other friends as well. We have the Flex Connects from our friends at JKS as well as their track bar. We're actually running a Clayton rear track bar. As he's from As he's Design Works, you probably can't see it in here, but he did a little custom work on our gauges. And I'll talk more about that when I can get the right lighting to show you kind of that custom stuff that he did to our gauges. So I think, I think that's, that's everything here. You know, thanks for watching. I know this was a long video, but we wanted to show you everything about the vehicles that we could. If you have any questions about the stuff we used, about the parts we used from our friends, if you want to ask us questions about our product in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day.